I tell you lies, I'm too G for that. Ain't no keeping that. What's up? It's your girl Madison Denise. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're here for the first time. Welcome back if you're a loyal subscriber. Um, so yes, welcome to the next part of the moving series. We are packing. Let me give y'all a little breakdown because I know y'all probably watching this video like y'all was supposed to move in in January. So basically, let me give y'all a little backstory just so that y'all know what's going on. I was supposed to move in January 15th. That's what we were told in August, September, October, November. Once it hit December, it was like, mm, not happening. Basically, since our house is being built from the ground up, COVID stopped a lot of that process. A lot of the pieces weren't here. They had to wait on a lot of stuff. A lot's been going on. Clothes has been pushed back to March. Cool. Okay, whatever. But... We already told our complex in November that we were moving out January 31st, meaning we still have to move out January 31st. Luckily, my man owns a condo and we're about to move there just for a month and a half. Luckily, he ain't rented it out to nobody, so nobody's living there, thank God. We ain't gonna have to pay no rent or nothing, at least for a month and a half. But yeah, we have to be out by Monday. It's Saturday. We haven't packed anything. Our house looks like we're still about to be in here for another three years. So yes, now we're packing, trying to get that together. So yeah. I can take too much like strategic thinking. Who got us pick this shit up? <laughs> if it was up to him, we would throw everything away and buy a whole new everything. He don't want to pack nothing. It's okay, baby. We're gonna get this done in two hours. Okay, like four five. So we're about to pack, we gotta pack up every single room. We haven't packed anything. There's still pictures on the wall. We still gotta wash clothes. The detergent in the house? Yeah. Okay. So yes, enjoy this video of us struggling um, because we waited to the last minute to pack up our entire life. So this is the infamous clock that everybody loves that my man got me for Christmas. And I just took the four off. That bitch look like a four. <laughs> oh my gosh, stay tuned to see how many charges we have to pay <laughs> for this apartment. So, I don't even know what I was doing the last time y'all seen me, but I ended up going to work yesterday. And the house looks crazy. I don't know who, it was me. I do know who, it was me. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea or why I even thought it was realistic. Pack up a whole apartment in one day. I'm gonna show y'all what this <laughs> what this looks like right now. Y'all are gonna think I'm a joke, cause I am. Like y'all, it's freaking 12 o'clock. I have to go to work again at five. I might have to call out tomorrow because this is a lot. We have to be out of our apartment tomorrow. I have to go to the storage unit because the storage unit, I actually think, I don't know. I have to go up there and pay like the opening fees or whatever, like the little administration fees or whatever, and get started on that. I have to be at work at five, meaning I have to be done doing what I'm doing back at home, getting ready for work at four. It gives me four hours to do what I need to do. Nothing's going to get done. Elijah's gone. He just left to go coach, but his people here, they don't help me move or whatever, so. Oh, this place looks crazy, y'all. It looks crazy. I'm over here rushing. I actually need to stop because when I rush is when I mess up, so. I need to stop rushing, calm down, chill. 
Y'all was about to wear my blue hoodie because I honestly love this hoodie so much. But I realized it's Sunday and my team is playing. So I'm about to put my my team hoodie on. That's better. I'm not even going to put no earrings on, y'all. This is my I'm currently moving fit. Okay, y'all changed again. I just feel like I had on way too many colors. I don't know why I'm sitting here doing my edges. Like, girl, you have stuff to do. I'm going to just do the first one. Just so I look somewhat presentable. I'm just gonna pull it back. Pull that down. I look crazy? Probably. We're just gonna go because we got to go. Let me show y'all what we're looking like right now. So the closet actually looks pretty good. I need to get some more trash bags so I can finish hanging my clothes up. Cause I still have to put these in bags. They already like grouped up and stuff. So they ready to go. They're just not in bags like that. This stuff just needs to be taken to storage. Taken to storage. This stuff I'm taking with us to the condo whatever. Cause I wear that stuff. So yeah. And then all this stuff just need to be taken out. Box by box. Cool. Then this stuff goes to the condo. This stuff is getting packed. I still need to finish the bathroom. I need to pack up the bed. Please ignore that stain because Elijah's do-rag has been bleeding through. And I got to take the bed apart. Do all that. The room is looking crazy. Still got to finish the dresser. <laughs> Living room looking crazy. This is the result of trying to take that clock off the wall. My kids want to go outside. It's a lot going on. Kitchen looking crazy. <sighs> yeah. I don't even know where Home Depot is. But while I'm in the car, let me tell y'all the story of moving out of my complex. So I already told y'all that our house was supposed to be ready January 15th. So we told them in November we'd be leaving January 31st. They were just like, yeah. Because we had to tell them 60 days in advance or else we would the 60 days would have essentially started today if we would have told them today like hey we're moving out and so our options were to either a pay the um termination fees for the lease or b pay the rent until somebody else moves in so we're just like, okay cool like how much are the termination fees so the termination fees like if you have more than six months left on your lease you got to pay two months worth of rent and then if you have less than six months but more than three months left which is where we fell you had to pay one and a half months rent and if you had less than three months you just had to pay one month's rent so like i said we fell in the between three and six so our termination fees was like two thousand and forty dollars i believe because our rent was like 13 something i guess i could tell y'all now because we're leaving and we're not paying that no more so yeah our rent was like 13 45 let's just say i think it was 1346 to be honest so yeah that was our rent so our leaving fees were like two thousand dollars so we're just like okay cool we just gonna have to pay that two thousand because we didn't want to risk dang why is this lotion not coming out because we didn't want to risk like okay cool we're just gonna pay the rent hope somebody move in because they gonna mess around and not put nobody in the complex until i mean in the apartment till four till four o'clock till april like then we'd be paying the rent for February, March, and then April to whenever them people move in. So we're just like, yeah, we're not even gonna risk that. Like, we're just gonna go ahead and just pay the, pay the fees, go. But every time, y'all, it was weird to me, because every time I would go talk to the office or whatever, they would talk about, oh yeah, we have a wait list. Um, people are waiting to move in, yada, 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 all this other stuff. So I'm just like, if y'all got a wait list, then y'all are not gonna take a long time to get these people into this apartment. Like, y'all gonna get them in this apartment. So I'm just like, hmm, do I wanna risk it and just like not pay the termination fee, just pay the rent till somebody move in? Because they got to be moving somebody in by at least like March or something. Like, paying 1300 is better than paying 2000 You feel me? So I'm just like, hmm, we might just have to risk it. But we decided. Anyway, like I was saying, we just decided like, okay, cool. We're not gonna risk it. Until, 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 y'all. Let me tell y'all the determinant factor. So, mind you, like I said, my complex was being real 
what's the word what's the word my boyfriend hates when people are these conspicuous no ambiguous they was being real ambiguous okay so i was just okay i'm not even gonna play with them because mind you we've had our issues with the people in the front office like not even stuff that we it's I can, i'm not even gonna go into that but just know we're ready to move they wasn't trying to tell us okay they was not trying to tell us like oh somebody's moving in because i don't know if they pocket this money or what but they was acting like this was day 2k and they wanted that money in blood the determining factor for what we decided to do was when i called duke energy to turn the power off because i'm just like we're not gonna be here no more i didn't turn the power off so i called them and i was just like yeah I'm just calling the schedule like my power getting turned off we move out on the 31st so I want to turn it off on the first because they don't have a time frame of when they turn it off so I don't want them to turn it off at 10 o'clock in the morning on the 31st and we still in, we still in crib so I was like yeah I just want to set for the February 1st and she was like oh you want to change the date and I'm like what you mean change the date she was like your services are already scheduled to be turned off the 7th because someone else is starting services there on the 8th needed to hear okay that is all i needed to hear so i'm just like oh for real? like yeah i want to change it to the first one change it to the first so somebody's moving in here february 8th you think we about to pay two thousand dollars when somebody's moving in here a week after we leave i went up to the front office luckily the cool younger girl was in there and i was just i went in there you know not telling her what I was really in there for. And I'm just like, hey, I just got a question. I got a few questions about move out. So like, how does this work? Are y'all gonna walk through with us? Are y'all gonna, I was just asking her questions like, what time we need to be gone? How do y'all get the keys back? Yada, yada, yada. I was like, um, and I called Duke Energy to get my power turned off. And they said somebody was moving in there on the 8th. Like, I know y'all were talking about pre-leases or whatever because like I said they was being real ambiguous and they were just oh yeah someone's pre-leased the apartment but it's not official yet so they could always back out so I wouldn't pay the rent until they leave I'll just pay the termination fees like they wanted us to pay these fees so bad so the girl she was just like yeah um somebody signed a lease and I was like did they sign a lease lease or is it just the pre-lease that y'all been preaching about and she was like, um, let me look it up. Ask me my apartment number. I told her. She was like, oh, yeah, they signed a lease. Like, after the 8th, they are, like, legally liable for this apartment. Like, they can't back out at this point. <laughs> Baby, you just told me exactly what I needed to hear. That is all I needed to know. That's, a, that's, that was music to my ears. So, I'm just like, okay, cool. So, we can literally just pay the rent until they get here. And she was like, yeah, you could. Just pay the rent, like, the first through the seventh. Girl, a week of rent? That's like three, four hundred dollars. Credit my account, baby. What? I'm not paying that two thousand. Y'all are not getting that. Y'all are not getting that money from me. I promise y'all are not getting that 2K. Just know that we are ready to go. Fuck the manager at Hawthorne at the Glen. Period. Cause I don't live there no more, so I can tell y'all what, what the shit was called. Cause I don't live there no more. The complex was called Hawthorne at the Glen. Hawthorne at the Glen. It was actually a really nice complex, y'all. I moved there when they first built it, as y'all seen. I was the very first one to live in that apartment. I moved in the day they finished building. And it was really great, you know, at first. It was a different lady in the management office. The lady was just a bitch. I really did not like her. I don't even know the lady name. Miss Donna, that's her name. So, I mean, you can still move there. You know, it's a nice complex or whatever. It's getting a little ghetto. At first, it wasn't that ghetto. Did nobody know about it? <laughs> did nobody know about it? It was new. And now, two years later, I'm ready to move into my house. Period. So I need trash bags. Let me write this down. Trash bags. I need small boxes, I feel like. I don't know if I really do, but I'm gonna still get some anyway. Trash bags, small boxes, and then plastic. I need to cover the mattress, the couch, the dresser, and the mirror, and the bed. Yeah, everything in the entertainment center. <laughs> Okay, so luckily I only spent like $35 in Home Depot and I got everything that I said that I needed. And um, I was about to go ahead and go to the storage unit to like sign the papers, pay for this shit or whatever. But then I was thinking like, I have nothing in my car. Like there's no point in going right now. So I might as well go home, pack some stuff up, 
get it loaded onto the truck and then go to the storage unit. Because as soon as I pay the fees, like they're going to give me the keys so I can start moving in. So there's no point in going there without stuff. Because then I'm just wasting time and gas. It's currently 12.23. Y'all had to call out of stats today. Because y'all, I was supposed to be at work at 11.30, y'all. It's 12.30. I didn't wake up till 11. <laughs> I'm not stressed. So yeah, let's get home, let's get packing, let's get to the storage unit, and let's get some shit done before whatever o'clock. Yeah, let's get this shit, let's get this shit, let's get this shit. Let me put y'all on to some music real quick. Let me put y'all on, because if y'all don't know, Eat Up, the nigga who raps all the music in the background of my vlogs, yeah, him, he dropped Dub Season 2 like a week ago. So if you ain't tapped in, tap in. I'm going to put the link in, my, in the description box. So tap in, because if you ain't, like, what are you doing? Like, what? No. What'd he say? Cause I'm from the city, put on for the folk. I used to hoop now, switching the flows. Used to get nervous in front of the hoes. Now, if you book me, I'm rocking the show. Used to want breads, but now I want dope. Used to want spreads, but now I want more. Used to want cars, the crib, the jewels, whatever. But now I want niggas to know. It's really my time for to do It's like I'm dang. If you hate on a nigga for trying, damn, it must be a shame. Working. Them niggas don't owe you no love. Okay. Most of these niggas don't care about the art. Okay. They don't care about Drugs. Okay. Man, run that shit back. These niggas ain't ready. Run that back. Hey, hey. You a sucker, you a bust. I can't fuck with ya. I be moving solo. Ain't no way that I can trust niggas. Hey, all about a dollar. Try your luck, nigga. Only sip of trying to put no henny in my cup, nigga. Jigging in this bitch. Ay, all my real niggas get the jigging in this bitch. Ay, all the gold diggers get the digging in this bitch. Ay, play with me, my partner get the clicking in this bitch. Ay, bitch, this my shit. Verse 2, tell me what you wanna do hey, We can take a shot or we can pull the hookah too Hey, hey, happy with y'all and give y'all a little update uh the last time y'all see me narrow you cannot sit on my lap baby yeah just stay right there they do too much for me anyway y'all i just wanted to come tap in with y'all real quick narrow oh now you don't want to talk battery dying what's up okay i know y'all probably looking like girl what are you doing so let me tell y'all a little story so basically the last time y'all seen me 
was on Monday morning. My camera was dying. I went to go replace my camera battery and realized I didn't have none of my batteries. So, so it's currently Thursday, y'all. Thursday, 7.08 p.m. Okay, so I'm currently on my way to work right now, but I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick just to let y'all know like what's been going on in my life so that y'all can see why this video obviously took a turn for a way that it was not supposed to be heading in the direction of. It, this video is not going in the direction I had planned for it to. So let me tell y'all why. Sunday night, well Sunday, I went to work, cool. While I was at work, my boyfriend um, continued to pack. But I finished packing up the rest of the house, cool. I told him don't touch this stuff, I'm gonna do this, blah, 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 cool. He packs up everything, I come home. Stuff that I did not want packed, I got packed. But that's neither here nor there. I had a pretty rough night, um, pretty rough Monday. I was just looking for stuff, couldn't find nothing. Couldn't find my camera batteries, couldn't find my camera battery charger. Like, I was just <sighs> stuck, okay? Couldn't find anything. You know, I'm grateful that he tried to help or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that was a lot in itself. So, y'all, I'm actually so freaking turnt right now. Look at my house, that's my garage. Y'all, they put up the freaking doors, like the doors are on the, um, the front door is on. All the doors are on, like all the doors. They ain't got no handles or nothing, but the doors is there. They put all the cabinets up, the counter thing is in the bathroom, the island is there, the kitchen. <laughs> it's getting closer, y'all, it's getting closer, it's getting closer. We have freaking five weeks on the dot, literally five weeks from today. Our closing day is March 10th. I don't know if I told y'all that. I'm so freaking excited. Neighborhood's so cute and quiet. If you want to come to the housewarming party, comment on this video and let me know so I can make sure to get your invitation in the mail because it's going up. Yeah, so basically, I was looking forever for certain stuff, but I finally have everything. We're finally settled. Right now, we're currently living in, in a condo. Yeah, we're staying there until our house is going to be ready in five weeks. And now I'm going to be four minutes late to work. But it's okay because I see my house. <laughs> Yeah, that's basically the end of this video, y'all. Um, I don't have much more to tell y'all because that's everything. More footage of the house is coming soon, but I had to save that for, for the next video. So, yes, thank y'all for watching. My birthday's next week, so you already know that's going crazy. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm just so excited for life now. At this point, I'm just so freaking excited for life. So, yes. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn your post notifications on, and come back for the next one.